Uh, it gives me great honor and pleasure because we have been working with Ericsson for the last few years after I took over. And as you all know, digital infrastructure is an initiative that we have created from the 2015 government. We've been working very closely with Ericsson and we're proud to be uh, partnering a world-renowned brand and to be partnering for 5G is also another milestone in our ministry's uh, roadmap. Having said that, uh, Sri Lanka now is at the brink of uh, changing a lot of things and I think the younger generation in Sri Lanka is quite tech savvy and this is coming at the right moment when we have lots of things done by the ICTA to facilitate many projects uh, lately with open space, we've, we've been giving uh, young kids a lot of opportunity, a lot of uh, access to many uh, innovations. So 5G, I think they've chosen also the right partner, the future today, the dialogue. They call themselves the future today because they see the future today. So I think uh, that's that's quite interesting. I would have thought why not more detail, but uh, I would rather <laughs> probably be able to say that. <laughs> However, I'm, I'm a great fan myself of the dialogue. I do, even though I'm the minister of Zander, uh, who has, uh, well, I wouldn't say powers, but it's gasser than me, uh, Mobitel, but I still use a dialogue phone. I hope nobody from Mobitel is here. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good customer and they retain me, so I think that's very good. So uh, this is the ideal partner that uh, Ericsson has chosen, and I will be looking forward. I know we've had this a uh, few years back, we tried, I think, a year back also similar situation where we wanted to go ahead and proceed, but uh, there was a due to lapses from both sides, as you probably. Uh, this didn't really take off ground, so I'm really, really glad uh, the senior uh, top officials from Ericsson showing their commitment to us today, and likewise, we will show our commitment to you as well. And uh, I think Sri Lanka right now, as I say, if you look around Sri Lanka, there's so much of things happening, and Sri Lanka is a bus country that you really, really uh, put yourselves in Sri Lanka at this time. I'm sure we still only have about 90,000 employees on the IT industry, but we're looking at in 2022 to at least maximize this up to 500,000. So we have a vision, but these kind of uh, initiatives would greatly be appreciated, I'm sure.